Hi everyone, Chris Hale here again from Profit Squirrel, carrying on with the casino series. Thank you all for joining me again. In today's video, what I'm gonna do is cover expected value as it relates to casino offers. Now, you've probably heard me talk about expected value before in previous videos, and I actually did a video guide to it before, but I wanted to do this video as well because expected value can be a little bit different when it actually comes to casino offers. There's often a few more components to it to actually working out what the value of the offer is. And I thought it'd be useful just to go over that. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video for you here. So as you might remember, in my video before, what I did was I multiplied the amount of the bonus by the chance of that event coming true, and that gave me my expected value. And it's pretty much the same idea with casino offers, but there are a few more factors to consider. The major one being the wagering requirements. So there's a slight adjustment to the formula, which I'll show you in a minute. For those of you that don't know, expected value is basically the amount of value that you expect to have returned to you over time from an offer. If an offer gives us positive expected value, that means that we expect to make money from it. If it gives us negative expected value, then that means we expect to lose money on it. Now, kind of the whole deal with profit scroll and match betting is that you are doing things that always have a positive expected value. And that's why match betting makes you money. If you're just gambling, then the expected value is generally negative for you. And that is why most gamblers lose money over the long term. So all of the offers that we bring to you with Profit Squirrel have a positive expected value. That means that if you work through them and you complete them, then you're going to be making money over time. However, you might want to calculate the expected value for yourself. And you may want to do that if you've received a certain offer from a bookmaker to your email, or you've just come across one and you want to use the match betting techniques to actually try and make money from that offer. You actually only want to do that if the offer has a positive expected value. If it has a negative expected value, then the chances of you actually making money from that are not good and you want to avoid that. So let me show you the formula we use if you want to work out expected value for yourself. Essentially, it's in this tutorial here called Finding the Value in Casino Offers. And what we do is we do the bonus amount minus the wagering requirement times the house edge and that will give you your expected value. So let me walk you through the example that we have here. In this example, a casino is saying that you need to deposit a hundred pounds and you need to wager through that and you'll get a hundred pound bonus that you can then withdraw. Now, sometimes there are wagering requirements on the bonus itself and there are a few little variations that you might see. Every offer can be different. So there may be a slight adjustment to this formula, but this is the basic way to do it. And if there are adjustments, if there's different formulas, we'll make that clear in the tutorial as well. But as I say, you don't actually need to know it. If we tell you that the expected value is positive for an offer, then it should be positive for an offer and you should be all right to go ahead. So in this example, we're saying that there is a rollover requirement of 25 times. And we're also saying that the house edge is 5%. Remember we talked about return to player beforehand? Well, the house edge is basically one minus the return to player percentage because that's the advantage that the house has. So in this example, the return to player on this slot machine, the RTP would be 95%. And then we're doing one minus 95%, which is giving us the house edge of 5%. And because we have to roll that 100 pounds over 25 times, then our wagering requirement, this section of the formula here, is going to be 100 times 25, which is 2,500 pounds. So essentially what we're doing is we're plugging those numbers into this formula here, 100 minus 2,500 times 0.05, the 5%, and that's gonna give us a negative expected value. So if you had come across this offer and you're using this formula to work it out, then this one would not be worth completing. Again, I wanna stress that expected value is not the guaranteed amount. You're not actually guaranteed to get a fixed amount with casino offers. It's the amount that you should be up or down by if you complete 
offers like this enough times. So you might complete this particular offer here and you may make a profit. You know, there is the factor of variance which can change the outcome. And all of this will make a little more sense in the next video when I actually go through examples for you. However, you shouldn't try and complete offers like this that have a negative expected value because the odds essentially are not in your favor. The second part of this example here says that if the house edge was only 2.7% instead of 5%, in that example, this offer would have a positive expected value of £32.50, which means it would be worth going ahead and taking on. So much like the sportsbook offers that you will have done before, casino offers have a very similar structure in that they have a qualifying requirement and then they have a bonus requirement. And there might be a wagering requirement for your bonus or for the qualifying amount or various different rules basically as to what you need to do when to either qualify for something or be able to withdraw something. So that's the formula if you want to work things out yourself. If there's a few other factors then this might be adjusted slightly and if that's the case you'll see it in the individual tutorial or if you're not sure drop a note in the community, in the Facebook group or in the forum and someone will be able to help you figure it out or get in touch with us directly at Profit Squirrel. We're here to help you figure this out and to make money. In each individual tutorial that we highlight, as I say, they're going to be positive expected value tutorials, otherwise we wouldn't put them on. And in most of them, we're going to mention, for example, like this Virgin Games one here, what the expected value is, in this case, £3.93. So over time, you'll be making those profits and you could hit a jackpot amount as well, which will massively boost your profits. There are some offers where you just get free spins. There's not much of a qualifying requirement. So an example of that would be this Betfair one, 25 free spins, no deposit. These ones are risk-free. These are ones that I would suggest you get started with if you don't have a decent bank to get going with casino offers. And I'll explain that a bit more in the live examples but essentially you want to have a bit of a bank before you start doing casino offers. Otherwise you won't be able to ride out the variance to actually get the positive expected value over time. And if you do have a smaller bank, I would say stick to doing the sports offers until you build that up. The risk-free offers, those are the ones to focus on. There's plenty of those. Or you can do casino offers where there are just free spins and no deposit requirement like this Betfair one here and there's also a William Hill one that comes up pretty often as well. You'll see that in the daily offers where you essentially get X amount of free spins a day. It's normally five a day or something with William Hill. So in this Betfair one you basically get 25 free spins which are worth 10p each. So the value of the free spins is £2.50 and then we're actually looking at the return to player. The best one we have at the moment with Betfair is this 92.05% return to player on this machine called Gem Heat. So to work out the expected value for this, you're actually multiplying that £2.50 by the 92.05%. And that gives us close enough to £2.30. I think it's £2.30, £2.31, so we just rounded that down. So that should give you an idea of expected value, how we work it out, how you can work it out for yourself if you need to, but as I said, you generally don't need to if you're logged into Profit Squirrel, if you're following the tutorials here. Thanks so much for watching. In the next video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie all of the concepts together by actually walking through some example offers, showing you how I would complete them in order to actually do them the right way. If you enjoyed this video, drop us a comment below, hit that like button, and of course, you can always subscribe to Profit Squirrel if you want to keep up with the latest in match betting and making money online. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all in another video really, really soon.